What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. Matco Tools. Let's take a look and see what Michael's got. Come on. y'all this week oh we're doing you ain't got your new shirt on today i don't oh man you should have wore that my little boy decided he wanted to brush his teeth this morning oh, yeah it got toothpaste all over it yeah you should have wore that shirt we'll have to we'll have to save that for a special video <laughs> yeah well come on up here preacher man there ain't no need hiding from the camera Ain't no need hiding from the I camera. <laughs> well, how's thing? Y'all sold any two boxes this week? This week, no. We uh, we sold a lot of goods this week, but we didn't sell no two boxes. We had a couple big sales. Y'all slipping? Y'all gonna have to do something? <laughs> well, we can go a week or two. You the two box that. selling king? Well, I don't know about that. Well, yeah, you did sell one this week because you delivered it here like Monday or something. Well, it was sold the week before, though. Yeah. We delivered one at least. There, yeah, we delivered one. We can say we delivered one. Yeah, uh, we've we've sold a lot of tools this week. This week has been tool week. I don't I don't know. Everybody's come on and left with multiple multiple items. So well, that's a good thing. Tool bill gonna be good and high this next week. That's okay. <laughs> I see you got some new stuff out here. Well, well it may not be new, but it's, it's not necessarily new. It's 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 you know two videos back we did where we showed just stuff that people randomly need and uh, we kind of talk about it. So that's what we did this week. Um, we've just showed the techs what they really can need, really use that will make their life easier. Everybody knows nip pliers will make their life easier. So we got the nipix out. We got the plastic trim panel tools and I know people's like ah that don't make yeah that makes a lot of it, uh, mm -hmm. ease in the body shops taking off panels but also dash work with this one right here and this one here works really good um, now that I don't know that Toyota's completely fixed their dash issue their sticky dash um, but back when they had it you had to be real careful taking off the trim panels uh, a, a pocket screwdriver would scratch one of those plastic pieces real quick yeah uh, I mean just a slip and you and, and you were buying a new plastic piece so those there of course they got the chrome and stuff pieces you had to be real careful those will pop them off um, and they bend a little bit to whereas that screwdriver is not going to bend and and you don't really know how much pressure you're putting those will keep you from that uh, the nipix pliers like i said we all know that that those are great we also got the magnetic screwdriver ends that slide oh, yeah. on your screwdrivers you don't have to tell everybody how we had to use them putting my box together we put the locker <laughs> on if it wasn't for them would have been in trouble yeah so uh well, just like his box, the the way the locker bolts onto that box, it's just got like this death zone that I call that if you drop the screw, you, you, it, it's you, gone. It's forever. gone. You know, you're not gonna find it. So we slid these on the screwdriver, and uh, we didn't it, drop but two of them down there. Yeah, or maybe three. I don't know. <laughs> so I, I think we dropped those, and that's what made us say, "Hey, we got to fix something here." Uh, so we grabbed these. So if we just started with these in the first place, we'd have been a lot better off. But. Well, somebody asked me to show that blend door actuator wrench that you have up there. Yeah, right there. They that's said another. that thing was worth its weight in gold. Well, that's just another one of those tools that uh, on Chevrolets and Fords, I think Ford is where I sell the most of them at. Um, that thing will will save you. It, it will save you. It will save you from needing that tool over there to take the dash apart. <laughs> um, the next thing we've been really showing everybody is the set of the oxygen sensor and the sending unit sensor sockets. Um, 
yeah, I know wrenches will do it and stuff, but if you got a good set of these, that just makes that job even easier. Right. We got the extractors. Um, you don't really want to have to use these, but if you got these in your arsenal and you can mm -hmm. get to them before the bolt gets too rounded, because uh, we all know that we can keep hammering stuff on there and we can use pliers and if we can get to it with these first, it makes it getting it out a whole lot easier. Right. So we got those up there. Uh, we got the catalog because everybody needs a micro catalog. That makes life easy for sure. But if for some reason the life don't get easy, you can put your Kool-Aid in some of these and <laughs> that makes life easier, right? Well, I know one of the things and I want to talk about these. You remember oh, the yeah. ordeal? That was one of my first purchases from you. Yeah, it was. It was uh, like the third or fourth, maybe. Yeah, it was on up there. Um, I was looking for USA made lug nut sockets, flip sockets. Yeah, yeah. And um, I bought the Cornwell that I'd ordered from Joe, and they were supposed to be in USA made. Yeah. And they wasn't, so. So, disclaimer here, because somebody's going to mention it. No, a lot of our stuff's not made in the USA, but we do have the sockets that are and these are these are some of them mm -hmm. uh, they're really good quality if you don't have the flip sockets you're missing out because it keeps you i don't know how many times between a 19 and a 21 right. if i had a flip socket i wouldn't have to walk back to my box exactly so i ended right. up buying i didn't when i was there i didn't know they had a kit of them i walked on a tool truck and it was on a magnet and i was like that will save me time so mm -hmm. i bought it so these these are really good us well, made they, those remember i actually bought the extension the impact extension yes. just to leave and it'll actually fit on right the top there. yep but what i do with mine is you know that magnet that you sell that goes on the side of the lift yeah that's where that lives in the pouch i stick it to the magnet yeah it works through the pouch and all i gotta do is un velcro it and slide them out i don't ever have to so like that's actually how there. i sell that magnet now i'm like look stick it on the side of the rack mm -hmm. put your wrenches or whatever you need right there and it makes life so much easier and guys find themselves you know normally we stick the bolts or whatever it may be just on the arm lift they get knocked off now i don't know where it's at now they're finding themselves throwing them the, the bolts and stuff there yep. uh the big bolts we don't care about they can sit on the lift we can see those it's the mm -hmm. little bitty ones that we we absolutely need that we're going to lose so uh yeah those are important too and then and there's other stuff as well um i like also i don't i think i've got a set right here and i we may have talked about them we may not have yeah right here if you're gonna have that set, you need this set too. And you're like, why well, do I need two sets? This set here is actually half sizes. Uh huh. So when the chrome uh, swells, up. swells up, either A, because it's just what it's gonna do, or B, somebody's used the wrong size socket. Uh, I know at a dealership, our, we had guys that if a 21 wouldn't fit, their first idea was to put a 22 on there and that just made the situation even worse. Strip because it, it out. Well, it would strip it out, but it also, it would make that swell even more. Mm -hmm. Whereas if they had took a 21 and hammered it back on, it would made it back to the right side. Well, they didn't do that. These here, 19 and five, 18.5, uh, 22, five and a 22. And then we have the 21 and the 21.5 so you can actually use these either or mm -hmm. but it has that half size for when that happens right. this makes life easier this is one of those tools that until i started doing this i didn't know that it was even there um, i had the one socket there if i was to do it every day again i would own these for sure right um just to make that nightmare a little less because mm -hmm. once it gets past the point of no return and it does strip and you're having to use an extractor it's no fun yeah you're gonna need the kool-aid glasses for sure then <laughs> uh, but yeah it's, it's no fun the cheapest thing on the matco truck is worth money right there what was them like 30 bucks it's like 30 bucks that's a bad one to point to it's missing some yeah it's missing a couple but uh, i'm using it uh for uh couple of demonstrations and stuff so um, like they actually, will break they're not lifetime warranty well that's why i've got that one but i've showed them glad you brought up like warranty. on our instagram of us taking out yeah. remember on that turbo yeah it was a nightmare yeah. and those worked that got put down by accident we had a i had a customer yesterday that was he had a, a bolt um it was a cap broke uh cap cap screw yeah um uh, I don't even know what we're saying right. 
the cap that holds the cam down it was it was oh, okay. uh, it was stripped so um man we were trying everything unfortunately it needed to be a little bit smaller it, I, it, it looked like it had done had everything in the world tried on it unfortunately mm -hmm. so some of the stuff didn't work plus we found out the, the bolt was actually bent so it didn't matter how tight this stuff was grabbing right it was still just stripping it out because there was no breaking it loose with it being bent i think it ended up taking an air hammer but um this is the, you said it right these have no warranty uh they're not lifetime warranty but what we've decided to do is for the customers that buy them from us, and this is strictly us. This is not Mako. This is not other distributors. This is strictly me and her. Um, the first time it breaks, we'll warrant it for you. Well, we've got a pack set aside. Right. Uh, because normally on that first one that breaks, you learn what not to do. Yep. You learn that you don't take a hammer and beat it on. Mm. You know, you, you learn. So on the first one, we do. But that's just us. Um, well, but, I know we've used them on probably three or four different things. And people can fuss about it, but at the end of the day, is it worth thirty dollars not to have to take the entire manifold off? Well, that and that's what we've always you know. said. You know, these these are great. Yeah, they don't have no warranty because they're super super thin. Um, but we keep these uh, in our drawer back here just for when somebody brings it to us. Um, and that's the three we've had. We've only did it three times. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had three customers that's broke one out of probably 50 of these that we've sold we've only had three break yeah um, but we keep this set um i just sat it down over by accident but um that's that's a great cheap and will save your life it's like those um what i like about it like what we did we was able to put it in a wrench because yeah. we couldn't you know i've got all kind of twist sockets turbo sockets bolt biters you name yeah. it but if you can't get it in there they ain't worth nothing you know yeah. And that's the only thing we had that would work in such tight clearances. And like that one job paid for the entire pack of them. If I break every one of them, if I never use them again, yeah. I mean. Well, in some of those areas, that's the thing. You can't, even though you've got all the sockets in the world, you just can't get to them. Yeah. If you've got any room to get a wrench on it, you've got room to get these because they add no real no real space anywhere mm -hmm. you just you just add two sizes to whatever size is on there and slap your wrench on it and go to town but yeah we've, we've showed these these are another one of those that um, and i've heard so many people fussing and complaining about them saying they don't work i know for a fact they work because they've saved us on at least three jobs well that's, that turbo bolt or nut that was stripped off that time well, that's like uh that's the only thing we could get in there like we tried everything yeah well that's and not I was only like, oh. like these i saw where a customer was um, not happy with the md max pro he said it, it it's in the flyer uh he said it doesn't work that thing works great i use that thing uh every time i gotta check a code in fact before i bring out and i have the demo we've all seen the demo um mm -hmm. the the 3.0 i have that demo but before I grab that big computer and I get to just diving down into it, I grab the MD Max Pro, uh, Pro uh, and, and I plug it up and I see the code, I look at the live data. If it's something simple, I don't get the big one out. Yeah. Um, and he said he couldn't figure it out. It, it wouldn't show what it says it shows. It, it shows everything that it's supposed to show that it says it'll show. Um, I think that it's just learning how to use it because it is it is kind of hard to, but diagnostic is one of those things that if, if if your dealer's a little weak and don't know how to to show you how to use it right. and you're easily frustrated uh with uh scanners and stuff you won't know how to do it right off the bat yeah um so and it may have been it may have been a bad product that, that you know it, it may have been something faulty with it i don't know mm. but for the for overall it's just like these when you figure out how to use them, they're great. Yeah. Uh, the, the same thing with a scanner. When you figure out how to use the little bitty scanner, three hundred something dollars, it's it's a great scanner. Mm -hmm. It's just learning how, learning the curves, where to look, you know. And, and that's and diagnostic is one of the big big things about that. You just have to learn. Yeah. Um. But if if the guy that I'm that I'm referring to listens or whatever, if he'll shoot me a quick message so I can see what it wasn't doing. Um, because if it really ain't doing nothing, I want to know. I want to see. I want to try it on my scanner. Let me see when I hook it up if I can mm -hmm. figure it out. Um, because I don't want to sell this stuff. I want to kind of educate on how to use it too. Right. Uh, and that's just like these. Don't hammer on these. <laughs> I, don't know. I know on extractor stuff. You Which use now we hammer. did. 
we didn't have to tap it on a little well, bit, but now there's uh, a difference between tapping it and banging the stew out of it, you know. Well, yesterday when I was helping that other guy uh, with the eight, um, we tapped it with a hammer. Mm-hmm. But before we ever started, I said, don't hit that thing. Yeah. You know, tap, tap, tap. That's all you need. Yep. On them sockets, hit the far out of them. Get it mm-hmm. drove down on there, not these. You know, yep. you just want enough to bite on these, and these kind of pull themselves on. But They work. People fuss all they want to, but I know for a fact I'll stand behind them. They work. <laughs> they may not last. They may break, but it's worth it to get the. There bolt are several out. jobs that if I would have, if somebody had said, "Hey, for thirty bucks, I'll get that bolt out," you won't even have to worry about it. I, Man, I've had jobs where if you'd have been in there, I'd give you five hundred dollars to get that <laughs> bolt out because I was sick of messing with it. You know? Well, and engine work is one of those to where, I mean. Yeah, on exhaust, you can cut it off, you can blow it out, whatever you want to do. Mm-hmm. You can't do that on an engine. Yep. <laughs> you need something that is not going to throw a whole bunch of metal and, and sparks and everything else. But well, That's true. One other thing, there was a guy, he's asked me several times, and mine don't have a part number on it. You remember the socket rail that I bought from me that had a magnet on each end? Socket rail. The, oh, is it a colored? Yeah, I think uh, mine was green, I think. Green. I think you also had it orange. MS, they used to be on the top shelf. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, MS-22G is the green one. And MST, uh, let's see, yeah, that's uh, that's the green one. MST-22O is the orange one. Okay. Those are kind of hard to get your hands on right now. Um, they got real popular real fast. They're awesome. I've had a... <laughs> like and I think they got popular after the video because I was having no trouble getting those things. We talked about them on the video. I showed them a couple times. I had them on top of boxes. Uh, and I started noticing more and more comments about them. And the next thing I know, I've been waiting on two green ones forever. Uh, they're they're back ordered, so... Well, I know we got into a pry bar discussion the other day on here. And we was talking about pry bars. And I said, my favorite pry bar handle was the Matco ones. The, not the ones you have there. The big the big one. But the ones before that. Yeah. And uh everybody, every single person was in a hundred percent agreement of that, that they love that handle. Yeah. They hate the new handles. They <laughs> hate the snap on handles and they're not fond of the Mac handles. Yeah. So Well <clears throat> and and the the reason and what we got behind that is that they were going to an all USA made pry bar. Yeah. Um you know, we had it. We when they first changed that design on the pry bars, we did a video on it, and and I I said then, you know, that you're either gonna like it or love it. Um, I, and I'm in agreement. I like the the finger uh, spots back here, but I like the bigger. I do too. I, I like the bigger one. I don't know if I said that on another video. But like, I don't. I'm not one to like grab it. Yeah. Like a you know with your hand. No, I'm more of a using yeah. my palm to push it down kind of thing. Yeah. Or, I'm lazy. I use my foot a lot of times. Like, you know, if it's where I can stand up, like, yeah. I'll take my foot. Because you can really, you can move the earth pushing, yeah. you know, on so, your foot. So. so, change does happen. And I've always said that I'd be honest. And that's one change that I didn't like. I would rather, you know, I don't have to like everything that happens. Right. Just because it's got Mac on it doesn't mean I have to like everything. And in my honest opinion, I wish they'd have kept the bigger handles. I know they had the reasons behind it, um, but I'm in agreement with that. Uh, I like the other ones. Well, they was probably, man, I, there's a lot of people in that live stream when we yeah. had this discussion. I mean a lot, like several, and nobody said, I like the new Matco ones better. Yeah. Everybody said the old Matco was my favorite, and one guy said, if mine breaks, I'm going to grind it down and keep going. <laughs> That's kind of my worst fear is when they bring yeah. me one broke. Uh, and they're telling me how much they love the pry bar. It's like, oh, because when I sell this one to somebody off the street that's never had the other one, they're mm-hmm. fine with it. It's just a pry bar. They're they're good with it. But if they've had that other one, that's the first thing they do is compare. And you can watch it. I can hand it to them and say, well, it's changed a little bit. And the first thing they do is they start doing this, and they're like, and, and you can tell yeah. it's like, oh, here we go with the handle. Well, when you know, I so, broke mine on your truck that time we was working the on the little bitty one, yeah. And you warranted it out, and it was the new style. Yeah. You know what? I've never, I, I used it one time, it and all the Matco pry bars I took out of my box, put them up, and went and bought the Mac. No. Because, you know, I had the snap on to start with, didn't like them, got yours, loved them, yeah. and then you just don't now we're the handles. 
Well, no, no. But, I mean, all of them has been warrantied. Yeah. Remember, I didn't have a whole set. I had oh, like that's right. two yeah. or three, and then yeah. I bought the set of those thinking yeah. it was the same thing. So, I don't know. Yeah, I, I like I the agree. old ones a lot better. I like the old ones better. And, and change does happen. That's something that we we have to go through. But, mm -hmm. you know, I don't have to like it all. But, <laughs> um, I, and I hope they go back. You know, yeah, we've too. seen... Um, they changed our our extension design for a while, and the last I heard is some of it's actually going back. They're going. They had. They went to a uh, a hog ring style on some of our. Mm -hmm. so they, I hate hog rings. Period. See, I got one set of impact extensions that's hog rings. Yeah. And I didn't like them, and then they were Matco, and then I've still got them in my box, and they've had no use hardly on them because I couldn't get the socket off of them. Yeah. Then I bought the locking extensions from you, yeah. and that was the best thing ever. Yeah. Like, I'll never use an extension now unless it's a locking well, extension. Well, see, I got to where, and, and this is just um, a dealer preference, really. I got to where I was saying, selling the ADV rather than the, the hog ring style. I just, mm -hmm. the, my, my customers didn't like them. I didn't like them, and I think Maco heard it, and they, and they the last I heard, uh, we were they were starting to go back to the other design. Uh, or was going to I think there was a picture of it that come out that they were going back so I think they still got both designs you can order it either or right. um, but I, I will forever and always be the little detent ball or mm -hmm. like you said the, the locking the extensions locking. Are, they're a little more up front yeah but man it's so nice like when you pull your socket yeah. out your socket's on there well you see know, and that's uh, my number one used uh, quarter inch uh, extension was a locking extension mm -hmm. and it finally broke about uh, back last summer i refuse to use any other extension now i just well, you know i had you order me that uh quarter inch extension set that's, yeah i don't know i think it's like seven or eight one of them's like long it's like yeah. a two foot yeah quarter extension well that's i it, it was my number one and when it broke i you know i it was heartbreaking so i just had i haven't replaced it. I know it either that replace it. I just had to. <laughs> but that's a lot. A lot of my tools. I you know. Kool Aid glasses. That's it. We're still waiting on all of our. We have. We got that big sale coming up. I know we've talked about it last week. We we. I tried to uh, sneak one in and order a uh, quarter inch ratchet extent the long extended. The part number is active. I tried to sneak it in and order it, and I can't get it yet. I have to wait. You know. Oh well, I tried. Is that the blue ratchet, the quarter inch blue? No, ratchet? the extended electric ratchet. Oh, oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. I saw the part number was active, and the quarter inch I called on the blue ones. The quarter inch, the three eighths is in stock now. Um, the quarter inch is supposed to be in like next week, and the half inch is going to be a little longer. So it's it's all coming. Okay. Um, there's a couple of stuff I called on, so it's it's all coming. But well. Yeah. That's cool. All right, guys. Well, I guess we're going to wrap it up, get back in the shop, get something done, and let Michael and his bride sell some tools. <laughs> well, you guys have a great week. Like always, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Checking the discount codes at Montezuma 10% still going on. Got the stuff down there for it. If you guys are looking for triangle box, save 10%. Check over here for merchandise. And if you're not subscribed, click that button. Just press it. You guys have a great week, and we'll catch you next time. See ya.